Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Rose Outdoors. You ever had one of those days where you just want to go try to catch a big one? That's what we're going to do today. Y'all come on. Well, I'm headed over to a little state lake right here by my house, um, watching Bassmaster Live, little Trey McKinney. He, he, um, he's leading the tournament and then kicks off the third morning with an eight pounder. He's been catching them out over deep water. Now he's got his power poles down. That kid's uh, pretty special. But I am, uh, he's been on Rose Outdoors before, by the way. Uh, I'm headed over to Little State Lake. Y'all heard me talk about me using my aluminum boat, going to uh, Little State Lake close to my house where we're going there today, uh, over here at Village Creek State Park. And uh, we're just gonna go try to catch a big one. Some days you don't, you know, you wanna go wind them in. Uh, today, it's that time of year. It's early March, they're in pre-spawn. Uh, we got another month before they spawn, so we're gonna go try to, I'd love to catch a double digit for y'all today. This place has got Florida strain in it. Uh, here we go. All right, it seems to be a popular thing now to find out what the pros are uh, eating out on, while they're out on the boat, their snack of choice. There you got it. Dill pickle sunflower seeds from Mark Rose. Go get them. That sound never gets old. I can think of a few choice words for the morning fishing trip, but we're just gonna say it wasn't any good. They just weren't biting. We got off of there, and uh, let me just back up and two say, you have days like that. We don't catch them every single time we go out. Um, but anyway, we went and got some lunch at Greg and Jim's, and we are back out here. I got uh, a Diamond Rio concert tonight, so with my wife. I'm aging myself a little bit now, but um, so we're going to, I didn't want to waste the day. We're going to come out here, a little private lake close to the house, and we're going to wind this tungsten thunder cricket around and catch some. There's a timber line out in the middle that I may go out in and try to catch some forward facing and see if there's some big ones out there, but y'all stay with us. There he is. There's your big old grown one. 
Well, that's what you get when you get that Strike King Thunder Cricket and Scound Bug out. Uh, that's what you get, them big old pretty pre-spawn females. She's fat, long. I'm gonna say five and a half, six, something like that. Big old pretty fish. She'll be spawning back up in this bay here shortly. Look how fat. Mm. Back in there, pretty girl. Hey, y'all better get you a sack full of Strike King Thunder chickens. This spring, now's the time, right now. Mm. Mm. Little chunk, little chunk. Look at the male, starting to pee. They're getting up there. It's time. That's why. That's where this thunder cricket is so good. They just start to pull up. And these little grass. There's a there's a grass line, lining these pockets, and you just go down that grass line. It's just. I mean, you don't have to have forward facing sonar. You don't even have to have a depth finder. You can see. I can see with these loophole sunglasses, I can see uh, the grass line, dark grass line, and I can just stay. And there's one, two, three boats out here, and a lot of people are chunking and whining. I see a guy throwing a spinnerbait behind me. Well, with this little tungsten compact thunder cricket, you can just go behind, I mean, it doesn't matter what's going on in front of you. You can go right behind them and catch a few fish. It's nice and compact. Well, we got another one. Another old random one. Little chunk. Peeing. Mm-hmm. <sighs> See, man, this lake, that you don't catch a lot of them, a whole lot this size, you know, but this time of year, when they start to pull up on these pieces of wood and grass lines and stuff, man, this is just the time of year. This is the best time of year to just take a, a little tungsten thunder cricket and just, uh, just go winding it around grass lines and cover, man. It's just a really fun bite too. It's just that brrrr and it just locks up. That's fun. There ought to be one right there by that root wad. Now why? Tell me why. Oh, he was there. He just had to follow it out a little bit. See, I just had to sing to him. Y'all heard that, didn't you? That's all you're getting. Unless you come to church with me on Sunday. And I don't sing in the choir or nothing. I'll be on the pew. I can get after an old Baptist hymnal though. When I get to praising Jesus, I will make a joyful noise. It's a joyful to me. Joyful to the Lord, I hope. Y'all might not like it though. Man, it is fun catching them on the Strike King Thunder Cricket. Little Tungsten Thunder Cricket. He's not a good one, but... Oh, there's a new...
Well, that's a feisty little sucker. Fat, too. Man, that sun's about to get down over them trees, y'all. It's been a good day. You know, we came out here today trying to catch a big fish and had plans to go and uh, live scope them at a different lake. That didn't work out. And so came over here, I was gonna live scope them out deep too. And something about the water temperature when I saw it and uh, a thunder creek, these, these times of the year, these fish just pull up and it, and I could tell by not catching them over there that the thunder cricket may not be the deal. You know, in bass fishing, you gotta keep the most important thing, the most important thing. You know, you, you, you gotta put it in perspective and you gotta keep it first because that's what's gonna get your reward. And the most important thing in bass fishing is understanding bass movement. This time of year, something told me that you know, that just was not happening. Those fish are starting to flood to the bank. And so I came over to a target rich environment, um, lake or grass and trees and thought we could uh, salvage it with a thunder cricket show. And we did uh, because of the adaption. You know, in, in life, uh, we gotta keep the most important things the most important. And that's what's gonna get our reward um, I want to share two verses with you real quick. Proverbs, these are a very pop, two popular verses. One of them is my life verse. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all the heart and lean not on the own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy paths. God's made us a promise. We put him first. He's going to take care of us. Matthew 6, 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness put God first, we gotta, you know, believe in him for salvation, knowing we're going to heaven. Then we gotta put God first, you know, seek him first daily. Um, I see so many, and I have to, you know, work on this with my daughter. I have to, you know, try to teach her and share with her and still in her that don't worry about how many likes you got and on, on social media and trying to get everybody in the world to like you. Um, you know, that's not the most, that's man-made importance that you're trying to put onto your life. Uh, God has a different set of standards. He has a, a, a different record book, and uh, he wants us to put him first. And that's not just for, you know, uh, 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 kids. It's for adults, too. I see it all the time. Uh, I see it in professional sports, I, you know, and it's not just for anglers and athletes and stuff like that. That, that would be for a business owner or anybody, a father, a, a husband. Um, we got to put the most important thing first in our life, and that's our salvation, and that's daily, that daily walk with God and realize that the most important things in life are not what we see scrolling and acceptance and things like that, what we put into it, but yet what this book says, this is what's going to get us home. Let's close Rose Outdoors out today in a word of prayer. Father, I just love you and thank you for this great sport. I just um, would lift up the whole world to you, asking that we all would just uh, put the most important thing in our life, in life, first and that's you, that we would believe in you and that we would, we would live a life that's pleasing unto you daily and try to share your love with others. Um, I thank you for this great sport of fishing. Man, I lift it up to you. Bassmaster Elite's going on right now. I just, and a lot of them will be traveling today and over the next couple of days. I lift them all up to you. ask that you bring them, return them home to their family safety, uh, safely. And I uh, just ask that you just continue to be with this sport and uh, be with everybody in it. God, we love you, and we thank you for all the blessings of life you bless us with every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next time, thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Rose Outdoors.